The brachial artery is the main artery of the arm. It begins at the lower border of the teres major muscle as a continuation of the axillary artery and terminates in front of the elbow at the level of neck of radius by dividing into radial and ulnar arteries. The first and largest branch from the brachial artery is profunda brachii artery. It arises just below the lower border of the teres major. It accompanies the radial nerve with which enters the spinal groove on the posterior surface of the humerus. The profunda brachii gives two terminal branches, the medial collateral artery which descends posteriorly to the lower part of the humerus and the radial collateral artery which descends anterior to the lateral epicondyle. Before splitting into those two terminal branches, the profunda brachiae also gives off a nutrient artery to humerus and a deltoid branch. Besides the profunda brachiae, we have two more branches from the brachial artery. Superior ulnar collateral artery which arises near the middle of the arm and accompanies the ulnar nerve posterior to the medial epicondyle. The inferior ulnar collateral artery arises about 5 cm above the elbow from the brachial artery. One of its branches winds round the back of the humerus between the triceps brachiae and the bone to anastomose with the profunda brachiae. Another branch from the inferior ulnar collateral descends in front of the medial epicondyle. To complete the diagram of the anastomosis around the elbow joint, we will also draw the branches from the radial and ulnar arteries. From the radial artery we have the radial recurrent artery which ascends to anastomose with the radial collateral in front of the lateral epicondyle. From the ulnar artery we have the following three branches. The anterior ulnar recurrent artery will anastomose with the inferior ulnar collateral in front of the medial epicondyle. The posterior ulnar recurrent artery will anastomose with the superior ulnar collateral behind the medial epicondyle. The common interosseous artery also arises from the ulnar artery. The common interosseous artery splits into two arteries. The anterior interosseous artery which descends on the anterior surface of the interosseous membrane and the posterior interosseous artery which descends on the posterior surface of the interosseous membrane. The last artery to be indicated is the recurrent interosseous artery originating from the posterior interosseous artery. This artery will anastomose behind the elbow joint with the medial collateral artery from the profunda brachii. That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this drawing, see you next time, bye!